This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Oh my goodness. Cheers, Grace Heldon. Cheers, Memory Hall. We are sipping hot teas mm-hmm. and hot coffees because yeah. there's a, a gust. There's a gust in. One gust? There's wind. There's wind. <laughs> oh, okay. there's wind in LA and a little rain and we yeah. both have two miserable dogs. It's a very uh, dreary, apocalyptic looking day in Los Ominous. Angeles. It's very creepy. And mm-hmm. there's a, yeah, there's like a calm creepiness in the air. Even driving over here, there was maybe two cars on the road, which is abnormal for when I usually drive over here. And it's uh, just gray and everything's damp. It's like we're on The Bachelor. Yeah. It's <laughs> When when one person is confused. Speaking mm-hmm. of, have you been watching this season? And did you watch last night? And did you finally see why the mom was like, "Bring her back, Peter"? The collective answer is no. <laughs> oh but shit! Counter answer is or counter question is that I wanted to find out if you were because mm. I do see all of the Twitter headlines the day after. Yes, I hear she has something written on her hand that no one can decipher. The mom says, "Bring her home," and people finally understand what that means. Well, here's what's so funny, and like I only started watching this season a couple yeah. episodes ago. I I haven't done a full season, I think like the last three rounds. Okay. Yeah. That's a, I haven't been into it. And so mm-hmm. this has been kind of a, you know, break glass in case of emergency show for me. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> However, I am excited because they announced the next Bachelorette, which is Claire, mm-hmm. which I, I mean, I watched yeah. Don, what's his name? Juan Pablo season. Yeah. Know her. That's the poor bitch that when Bachelor in Paradise started, she was on it and they yes. would always edit her to look like she was talking to a raccoon. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and I watched her in uh, who Winter felt Games. So or bad, yes. Yeah, I watched her in the 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 snow season. Right, and uh, I liked engaged. her very much. But they did edit her to be very emotional. They full on critter cornered her <laughs> yeah, for two did. Bachelor in Paradises. This poor girl, you know, you're drunk. You're yeah. on reality TV. If you're, you can go into a corner and just kind of like talk to the ocean right. because you're mic'd. So essentially, you're not talking to yourself. Right, and this I, is probably before the self awareness of reality reality people came into yes. play where they realized that people editors. will get yeah editors happen <laughs> and the mics don't go off unless you see a sound guy turn it off for you yeah that hemp puka shell necklace <laughs> yeah, is a microphone you guys it's not an accessory yep like when they went to wherever mexico yeah. on love is blind yeah all the the puka shells came back and they do that on married at first sight too oh. and it's so hilarious because you're like wow what a coincidence that all the guys decided on some fashionable jewelry from yeah. the 90s for this and Everyone <laughs> loves Jack Johnson. Yeah. What's going on? No, but so all season they've been teasing this mom being like, bring her home. <laughs> It's like with Colton season, it was like, why did he jump the fence? And they yeah. do it the whole season. So finally, sorry, spoilers, guys. Mm-hmm. Finally, they get to the end and she really does like one of the other girls more. Oh, and so okay. she's like, she's an angel on earth. Bring her home. You finally get that oh, clip. Yeah. And literally the bachelor was like, you gotta stop doing this. <laughs> and he just very bluntly was like, stop crying. So it was just to so... his mom? Yeah, because you realize, wow. which I saw a lot of people say this on Twitter and I agree with them. Uh-oh. There are like, oh, that's why Peter kept around the crying dramatic girls <gasps> when they weren't right for him. It's because they he's been manipulated him. by his mom his whole life. Wow. When, when she she cries to get her way see this is what i love about reality tv that there is a psychological lesson to be mined out of Uh all of these situations and it's fascinating to me wait okay what isn't elliot's mom a psychologist what is it she works in um psychology and he is really into psychoanalysis and that sort of thing so does he he go crazy when you guys watch something like really dumb does he psychoanalyze a little bit yeah and he and his friend pete have um, a podcast called fundamentalist Mm -hmm. that if you guys are interested at all in psychology and uh, psychoanalysis and all that fun stuff they talk about it there um he does a little bit but it does stress him out but that's why like married at first sight and love is blind are the ones that like he could get into because the uh, M- love is blind a little bit more because I feel like it's a little more raw than mm-hmm. married at first sight is a little bit more curated and like family friendly. Totally. Except this season, it's pretty great. They're calling out this one girl, Taylor, because she clearly wanted to be on like Love Island or The Bachelor Uh-oh. and she got this show instead and she's trying to be dramatic, but it's ugh, it's so sugar coated. Uh, sorry, we're going straight up. Well, Guys, this is the first five we're talking reality TV, but we're allowed to. But what happened? Um, So one, the mom, you finally get the context of the the moment. Yes. I saw all of these headlines that say he ends up with the producer. Is that what? Yeah, there were, last week what? all of these headlines were saying that there's this. Oh my god! Freaking- 
I'm freaking out. Yeah, there were all of these Twitter <gasps> moment headlines that said the truth is there's a rumor going around that he actually walks away from the season with one of the producers. Holy shit. Which would be bonkers because I feel like everyone's called out producer meddling more than ever on yes. this season. So oh. I don't know. See, I started so late I don't realize it. But yeah. that's crazy to me because I remember being way too young to watch the real world yeah and it's back when the real world was actually like real people yes you know they still had jobs yeah. they were like you know they were truly just living together they stopped being polite and they started right. getting real they, they got a nicer place <laughs> yeah with roommates but yeah. they still had all that and i remember i think it was the first season but it might have been a couple in mm -hmm. one of the girls started like a thing with the producer and she wow. and immediately got kicked out of the house wow but and y'all don't show me receipts y'all are too yeah. young to know this <laughs> um but it being a big deal and mm -hmm. then them getting married and stuff but i haven't seen a reality contestant mm. crossover to producer in a minute but think about it like they're always drunk they're yeah. always emotional and the producer's the person in your face calming you down listening to you and they're your only out like outlet to the outside world like they're the only person you they're your liaison to keeping you grounded mm -hmm. when you have no access to anything that's happening outside of just your little mansion bubble is this the plot of that bachelor show what was that called unreal yeah is this the plot of that uh it's a little unreal does um dabble in those types of storylines but they really Damn. take it pretty far but then you realize I don't take it very far when you watch The Bachelor. You're uh -huh. like, mm, this is pretty accurate. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I'm, I'm excited about it. So it's it. not over yet. Didn't they have a tell it's all already? It's never over. Like truly screaming the gift from the notebook. <laughs> it was never over. Well, that's what I, when you think about it, I was listening to a podcast the other day and these girls were talking about She's like, why do we need four hours of The Bachelor every week? Because isn't yeah. it on twice a week for two hours? I don't know. It is this week. <laughs> but you know how they do... Um, casting for the next season when they cut to commercial yeah. break first of all i think i've said it before i'll say it again why don't they say do you know someone who's the perfect match for the next batch oh why don't they say that i don't it's know it's the easiest rhyme it's too cute ah, um that but i think i mentioned this a couple weeks ago they said mm -hmm. like do you have are you do you know someone single looking for love who's older basically doing like a seniors oh. casting is it because Claire is the Bachelorette yeah. and she's like 35? Yeah, she's our age. And they called it like <laughs> older? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, uh, according to their standards, because I remember watching Ari season and the little like manic pixie dream girl that was 23 or 24 or something yeah. or 22. Everyone was outraged that mm -hmm. it was going to be a child bride. Child and bride. then she actually went and got pregnant with um, her companion. Oh, yeah. All right. So everyone's Becca's doing well, guys. Everyone's doing well. Well, now that well. Well, now, <laughs> where's a pandemic? <laughs> yeah, as well as you can. I was th thinking about it. We were saying before, I was like, well, at least if shit hits the fan, me and you can still do this podcast. Yeah, yeah. We can be in the same room doing it. And worst case scenario, we can record it remotely. So fear not. We're going to do it. Have Weirdos. you been washing your hands more? So much. So fucking much. So much. And also washing <laughs> it, washing it for longer than I normally do after seeing well, all it does it take it takes one easy to read chart for me to understand hygiene well here's the deal first of all I love seeing all the people who you automatically can tell they never washed their hands before yeah because they're very proud of it <laughs> um but I didn't know you needed to wash your hands for that long I didn't either it's like brushing your teeth you're technically you know you're supposed to brush your teeth or chewing for your food yeah, that one I still haven't figured out. How I've many almost, chews is it? Like 30 something? Uh, Are they crazy? We were in London and I was eating um, combos, those pretzels with cheese inside. Oh, damn, I haven't had a combo in a minute. Me either. Elliot had bought them from the Tesco down the street and we were uh, a little high and watching Love is Blind and I was eating them so furiously that I truly almost started choking. Well, truly <laughs> did start choking and I slapped Elliot on the <gasps> knee and he was like, he jumped out of bed and he was like, what do you need? What do you need? And then I like coughed it up. <laughs> Coughed up a combo. Combo yeah. rolled out. I was like, uh, we both just stared at each other in silence. I was like, I was honestly choking. And I had a flash of like my, the headline on Twitter of how I went. It's like <laughs> internet personality chokes on combo while watching reality TV on her vacation overseas. Ow. Ow, I work. I worked out yesterday. My abs are sore. And that hurts. I oh was, my God. Uh, I haven't thought about, for someone who legit used to eat a lot of combos yeah. 
for some reason I I think of them as like a snack from the past. Yeah, like they I really never are. go for a combo. I never. They were just <laughs> already purchased in the room, and it was late, and I was hungry, and yeah, it was a dangerous treat. So now I'm gonna you know go back to my combo less lifestyle for a little bit. Combos are interesting because I like simultaneously hate them while I'm eating them. Yeah, yeah. Like the original <laughs> ones kind of smell like cat food. Yeah, and the well, cheese they, is so crusty. The pizza ones taste like what a scratch and sniff pizza sticker yes, smells like absolutely and they are all a little dust covered in flavorings yes. so i don't know no but, wonder you choked yeah those bitch, first of all they'd been on the shelf for 10 years Laura, i mean i'm sure the guy at tesco couldn't it was immediately spotted the american <laughs> buying the combos oh, covered God. in dust <laughs> did you go classic or did you go flavor i think it was pizza i don't even remember i was just hungry i remember the first time eating pizza ones and being like it was when I was still young enough to play with Play-Doh. <laughs> and I had some like pizza Play-Doh or pizza smelling gack. Whoa. And just being like, I didn't know that existed. I don't know why it did. <laughs> it's like, why would you go, hey, here's a thing that's super inedible. Right. Make it smell like pizza. Let's get it as close to wanting them to put it in their mouth as possible. Totally. Yeah. But I just feel like the pizza combos, man, Ugh, just wow. smell like fake pizza smell. But anyway, I, um, I've been washing my hands more. Yes. And I finally did it. I did the thing right before you came over hmm. where I Amazon <gasps> some essentials. I was going to do. I literally was on the couch and I asked Elliot last night because I had to get goose some stuff. And I was like, should I order like beans or well, soup? I haven't done that yet. I yeah. still need to do like a God. We, I like this is prepping. Guys, this is our we have. <sighs> this is what's happening in our world and yours. Hannah has scared us into it. Classic. Hannah was already teetering the line of like she flirted with prepping oh she already did she scared me <laughs> two years ago after a drunk night into i bought i went home and bought six hundred dollars worth of like earthquake survival yeah. kits well that's that's six hundred dollars is a lot maybe they i don't were know pre-made kits they had great ratings yeah exactly <laughs> chip made us like chip got really obsessed with it and made us like get out or get home bags yeah, that yeah. like we keep in our trunk but so i understand that because that's yeah. a true threat that happens in california yes. all the time but i mean i think hannah could live in a shack in the woods yeah but she also we went out and got coffee with her yesterday morning and i the one sound bite that i took away when she was describing her and ella's prep for you know the impending doom she said you just order a bunch of beans and you put it in the tub and then she just glossed over that and i remember being like what so, kind of tub? Oh, what? So you right now, currently in your home, have a tub full of like kidney beans and black beans. You know she meant like a storage tub. <laughs> yeah, but, but in my mind, I'm just seeing you pull back the she's shower. Just, she's just showering with with cans at her feet. Yeah, she's got pintos in the shower. It's uh, great. No, I I stocked up on. I got some wipes, but all the Clorox ones are sold out. So wow. I got like you know uh, organic kind. Nice. Um, that a couple masks. I got. Uh, like a 50 pack of medical gloves oh okay in case you got to go out it helps yeah um but then they're really sold out of toilet paper which i don't understand people's reasoning of like oh do they think they can't leave the house to buy more because i mean it, with italy going on a full lockdown i think True. everyone's looking around i mean i did yesterday i looked around and i thought can we live like how many days could we live could we here survive? without the you know all of our conveniences going True. away i gotta get food but i was like man like all my favorite toilet papers are sold out <laughs> you know what if i'm gonna be stuck in my house i'm gonna make it fun yeah. <laughs> so i ordered pink toilet paper oh look at you and baby blue toilet paper uh, and then i was like well screw it and i got some of that toilet paper with trump's face on it yeah they were selling that like crazy in london <gasps> oh really yeah oh my god no so i was like well i'm at least gonna have a laugh while i'm quarantined into my house you gotta find the fun in wiping your bum wow trademark pending but so i ordered like uh, the classic like Trump shouting looking like shit face <laughs> yeah. and, but then look at this is the picture to sell it it's a Doberman it's a dachshund a dachshund on a toilet reading a newspaper that's with called dog, the daily dog and it's just got photos of dogs with articles around them but he is about to use the Trump toilet paper wow so I love that you thought that was maybe a Doberman I'm, it's a dachshund yeah. <laughs> I'm like Dobermans <laughs> are the little ones right goes to dog show once <laughs> yeah I'm a professional <laughs> great great dog great dog oh man but that's a uh, so we got some fun TP coming our way nice yeah I have to do that today possibly 
Honestly, um, I looked over at Elliot last night and I was like, should we get some supplies? And he just looked at me. He's like, you know, we're going to starve. <laughs> I was wow. like, you know what? You're not entirely wrong, but maybe we get some beans. Hannah was screaming about these beans. This screaming, <laughs> screaming about beans. And my mom, uh, classic mom text. She sent me and my brothers yesterday um, just an image this is just a warning. This week is starting by changing the clocks. Has right. a full moon. Last night was a full moon. And Friday the and 13th. And ends with Friday the 13th. Good luck, people. P.S. Don't forget to wash your hands. Oh, I don't know where mama. my mom's finding these JPEGs of this <laughs> list. but I love a good... It's not a meme. It's a mom. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I did see... I guess it would be a meme, even though it's just a picture. Uh-huh. Um, that someone put up that was like wash your hands like you just cut jalapenos and are about to take out your contacts uh and i was like or very, masturbate very helpful yes that is funny and helpful at We've the same time all had some scoville scale <laughs> on our crotch yeah accidentally you know it oh my goodness Today we have support from Noom. Getting in shape doesn't have to be about losing a specific amount of weight, a magic number that's on a scale. It's about building healthier habits and feeling better about yourself. If that is fitting into a pair of jeans, that's great, but there's lots of reasons that we all wanna practice self-care because guess what? Humans are different. And because everyone is different, Noom will adjust your lifestyle. They teach you the psychology behind the decisions you make and help you track uh, everything from workouts and steps to analyzing your diet and recommending healthy recipes. They also connect you with a personally assigned goal specialist and a community of other Noomers. Okay, Noomers. I had, sorry, I had to. So you can have all the support that you need to empower your change. I'm into self-care, but you guys know I'm also super into the psychology that motivates us to do the good or bad things we do to ourselves and others. And Noom is a place that really helps you understand what's behind the self-care motivation. I think that's pretty valuable. Like I said, it's based in psychology, so they teach you why you do things and they empower you with the tools that you need to break bad habits and replace them with better ones. Uh, And the best part is, you know, like we said, I'm assuming and hoping you're a human. So if you go off track, there's no shaming. There's just tips to help you get back on track tomorrow. And like I said, you can chat with your goal specialist and the whole community to get and give help to people that are going through the same things. A lot of you have tweeted at Mamrie and I that you have used this service and it's helped you very much to feel like part of a community and to stay regulated and regimented and also non-judged. It's ugh. It's a win-win all the way around. You don't have to change all in one day. You can take small steps that make big progress. So sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. What do you have to lose? Visit Noom dot com slash weird to start your trial today. N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. Believe it or not, a lot of people end up more dehydrated in winter months. Uh Uh-huh. Cold weather makes dehydration harder to spot, so you're less likely to keep refilling your water bottle. And if you're traveling, dehydration makes jet lag and headaches even worse. Even if you're not drinking, it can still suck. Well, thankfully, there's Liquid IV, the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. It comes in little packets that you put into 16 ounces of water, and then it hydrates you two to three times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Who has the goddamn time, am I right? Here's the deal. Liquid IV is effective because it has cellular transport technology. I know that sounds like a sci-fi film, but it's just the goddamn truth. It has the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium that delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream. Plus, it contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. And unlike traditional sugary sports drinks, there aren't artificial flavors or preservatives like Pedialyte or Gatorade. And I got sent Liquid IV when we thought about working with them, and I use it all the freaking time. Y'all know I love a sauna. You know I love to break a sweat without having to move a muscle. Well, when I get out of the sauna, I take Liquid IV because then I don't have to like chug a gallon of water to be hydrated. It's just one regular bottle of water. And here's the cool thing. Call to action. You know how this goes. You can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TMGW at checkout. That's 25% off 
anything you order on Liquid IV's website. So just go to liquidiv.com and enter promo code TMGW to save 25% and get better hydrated. Liquidiv.com, promo code TMW. Go live your life. Quit sitting there drinking so much water. There's a way that's hotter. Liquid IV, pay me for that. Trademark pending. I had Ooh. an audition this week. Mm. I How don't mean to brag. Whoa. But uh, yes, I still for you. hang on to being an actress. Get it. Um, I Instagram storied about it, but... First of all, we've we, we've talked about this before. It's one of those things where you're like, an audition, l- look at me go. Yeah. And then you open it and it's like, oh, the, yeah. do my agents <laughs> have any respect for me? What do they see when they, what when if, they think about me? <laughs> yeah, what am I, am I delusional or do I look like an early 40s overweight mom who uh, is not respected by her family, has three kids, and starts like having an affair with her trainer because her husband oh. hasn't touched her in years. Wow. I was like, sick, 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 sick. Yeah, six, very six, cool, six. very cool. Very what cool. do I wear to this? <laughs> do I have any Lululemon? Truly. I don't know. I mean, I feel like every time I open an audition, it's just like, lovable method. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine recently <sighs> have been like, uh, emotionally crumbling oh. alcoholic. <laughs> The last one, I just went to an audition last week too. Oh my God. Yeah. And it was for like a psychologically weak uh, (gasps) younger sister. And I was like, you know what? Not far off. Not far off. I have a, it's just, I have an older brother, but I can make it work. Now, speaking (laughs) of crumbling and crumbs, I'm sitting, it was like a weird, sketchy audition room. And of Uh course, you know, everyone's just going to be talking about like, should we, I'll be here. Right. And there's like an iPad you have to sign in on where it's like, this is covered in germs. Oh yeah. Um, But I'm sitting there and I don't know the lines very well. Yeah. Shocker. Why doesn't she book? Everyone wonders. Why aren't you on TV already? So I'm there and I'm and this girl just keeps like talking. Yeah. Just about like auditioning in general. Just, just being out like to the room. Yeah. Just me and the other woman there. Like uh-huh. it, we hadn't fully built a huge lobby Report. of people, which yeah. was going to happen. So it's the three of us. And she starts talking about like some audition she killed the week before. Like uh. one of those things you're like, Haha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. And then I look over and I realize it's rumor Willis. <laughs> Really? Yes. What? Yeah. Uh, as in the daughter of Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. What? And so in my head, I was like, oh, mad respect. You're at this sketchy um, like audition space with me. You're putting uh-huh. in your time. You're talking about going to an audition coach. Yeah. Um, but like Rumor Willis is a very distinctive like she look she's been on. I think she was on Vanity Fair like with her siblings when she was like a child. Like, yeah. So I instantly recognized her. She looks exactly like Demi Moore and Bruce Willis. She looks like, you know, a face mash app if you put them together. <laughs> Like it looks, in a good way. She's yeah, very beautiful. That you don't have to do any paternity maternity testing. You know yeah. wh- who her parents are. No, she has grown up to be a very beautiful woman. Uh, but yeah, there was a while there where you're like, hey, we- tiny weird clones. You know, mm-hmm. when someone's mm-hmm. got a bunch of kids, kind of like the um, Teresa Judice, Judice and yeah. all that. Where you'd be like, you're all little face mashes. Exactly yes. what you said. You, you look like the family. Like I, uh, family resemblance has never been a truer situation. You look like if someone looked at. Teresa Judice and th- for five seconds and then had to draw them from memory. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like, yeah, like someone described it to uh, one of the people at the police station yes. that draw uh, the faces of them. Exactly. That's what rumor looks like. Uh, a police sketch <laughs> yeah. of Demi Moore. Again, very beautiful. But so I think she could tell that I recognized her immediately. Oh. So then I think she was overcompensating being nice because and you like would being normal. Right, because... If your name is Rumor, you don't want there to be rumors yes. that you're a bitch. Yeah. So I was like, oh, she's nice. She was super sweet. But so we're sitting there, the three oh, of us. Los Angeles is so silly. And we hear the creak, creak, creak. And I'm like, there's a wheels coming near us. What's <laughs> going on? And around the corner comes a woman with two Girl Scouts and a wagon. Whoa. Oh, because Girl Scout Full cookies. Full of cookies. <gasps> yeah. I'm like, these motherfuckers. Oh, my God. Saw, first of all, Rumor was auditioning for the same show, but a different role. Oh, OK. Um, I was going to say, I mean, at least you're in good company if they also think Rumor is a 40 year old mom. No, the, the <laughs> lobby starts to fill up with uh, like all women my age and five years older with a little a few pounds on them. And I'm like, yeah, Rumor's reading for something else. Um, but I was like, what? 
a brilliant move, first of all, oh. to bring a wagon full of cookies over to the audition where it's supposed to be a bunch of women who want to lose weight. That's genius. Isn't that fucked up? That's, I mean, smart. And also, I mean, it's a great business model for it that is. Girl Scout. Well, it remind me, there's one, there's like a montage in Troop Beverly Hills where they're selling cookies and they station themselves outside of a gym. Oh. Um, but so I'm like, God damn it. They're the cutest little girls ever. Mm -hmm. Their names are uh, Lorelai and Lisa. Like there's literally a little <laughs> tiny like two foot tall girl with pigtails and a beret and we're like what's your name she goes Liesel and I was like okay <laughs> all right you're born and raised in Los uh, Angeles you're a Liesel weapon yeah um, have you seen rumor right. <laughs> hi Lisa rumor rumor Liesel so anyway we're all trying to learn our lines or you know like blab and yeah. so we're all like thank you so much like you guys are cute but like no yeah um and, and literally Liesl's like we take we take cards and apple pay and i was like Liesl, <laughs> Liesl, back off Lisa, little do you know i don't know how the fuck to use my apple pay right exactly i uh, apple pray yeah. every time i put my phone down i'm like that worked oh my god holy shit but anyway we politely decline mm -hmm. and then they creak the wabin wabin what? Oh, the wabin. Uh, they creak the rabbin. Oh my God. Wow. Do I have a speech? <laughs> uh oh. This full moon and the Friday the 13th. Uh oh. I'm a wabid. <laughs> so the wagon turns uh -huh. the corner. Yes. And then we hear little Lisa to me like, Would you like to buy some girl cups out cookies? How are they allowed in? I think their mom worked in the building. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't think. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's put a pin in this. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the other half of this story. But like, how long is fucking Girl Scout cookie season? Because I feel like I can't walk into a grocery store without being accosted. I thought we were through it. I thought right? we got through it. I There was a girl I was driving up to my house uh, months ago. Yeah. And there was a girl outside of her house just with a little table set up. And I was oh. like, I have cash. I never have cash. I'll go buy cookies from her. She was not personable. Uh, what? And, uh, I think she was just nervous. that It's, okay, a, it's okay. a road that doesn't get a ton of traffic. Aww, so I it's like all of a sudden you put your business suit This on. was her Shark Tank moment. Moment. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, I'll take um, two of those. Actually, do you have three? I'll take three. And she was like, mm hmm. I could see her like doing <gasps> gotta close the, the deal, like making sure the math was right yes. and everything. I was like, this is very sweet. Um, oh. And so I thought that was the tail end of it. It should be. I specifically avoid certain grocery stores because yes. I know they're parked out front. Oh, isn't that? It's like I avoid them at Christmas when they're asking right? for donations. Oh, my God. And now the Girl Scouts. Uh, uh, so anyway, I. Yeah. And also, OK, another thing. <laughs> you have the Girl Scouts with their cookies. Yes. You know, the younger version of Girl Scouts are called brownies. Yes. I'd rather buy brownies. Or Why don't brownies sell brownies? Also, I mean, it's been huh. how many years of Girl Scout cookie selling? Have we diversified the cookies for the, you know, I to mean, represent the amount of years we've been doing this? I'm shocked there's not a keto cookie. Right? Or, I mean, there's got to be gluten free or some bullshit what's out there. The, but. What's the shortbread? I don't know. Like a tag along or something? It comes up short. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Who's buying those? I like a good Thin Mint. I like a classic Thin Mint and the Samoas. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say good. it. I think they're overrated. Mm. I hate she to said go there. I'd rather make a donation. I mean, but also like, be careful you don't want to cross them. They have a very strong network. Oh, Liesl. <laughs> like I said, she's a Liesl weapon. Yeah. She could have destroyed. So she rounds the corner and I hear them do their pitch. Uh -huh. You know, so cute. And then I hear this man's voice who's British, go, oh, well, looky there. I can't do a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> cast her. Cast, cast her. me. Cast me. Um, and he he buys 10 boxes. What? And I look to Rumor Willis and I, and I go, this motherfucker just made us look like assholes. <laughs> yeah, he did. I was like, uh, buys 10 boxes out of the gate. Wow. And you can only see... I can see Liesl and mm -hmm. her little beret. Yeah. And then I see the shadow of a man and like he's being all cute about it, like picking out the boxes yeah. and then him being like, well, how much do I owe you? And Liesl is like, well, they're five dollars a box. So and counting on her fingers, being yeah. like five, ten and doing fifty dollars. Wow. Full of cookies. And and then I say to the to the women, I'm like, wouldn't this be like a funny rom com? Like, you know <gasps> what I mean? Where you're like, I fell in love with his shadow. <laughs> No, we did not fall in love. I was pissed. But I was just like, what? Wow. What the hell? Like, made us look really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, if anyone, even if you had planned on buying from Liesl, how do you 
possibly buy one box after someone's bought fifty dollars. Bo- yeah, worth. they're not going to get excited about no. a fiver. Be like, Sh- uh, I guess you can have one box. I mean, you can just take it. Consider it a donation. Yeah, for me to do you, you want me to see if that guy will buy you some? <laughs> yeah. You sad, pathetic women auditioning for this role. I did years ago. I was in Denver and I was at a bar, and uh, the bar owner, his daughter, was a Girl uh-huh. Scout, and I was like, "This is genius." His daughter won the contest every year because he would sell all of her Girl Scout cookies at the bar and I, I you know you drink a couple beers and yeah. you're like yeah I want a Samoa yeah I'm gonna dip absolutely. it in my beer absolutely <laughs> yeah. no I did see after they left they're going down the hallway and it was like a you know big production facility people rent mm-hmm. out stuff and I hear her go okay let's hit up the editors and she goes like do you know what they do and Lisa's like editing and, the, and the mom was like yeah they're alone in the room all day so I was like they're really hitting the vulnerable people wow it they was crazy came in with a full business plan they did so but I resisted yeah. I haven't had a Girl Scout cookie Good all season good for you again I'm team brownies women supporting women <laughs> Oh my god. Um I did uh, I was looking up stuff to like talk about today and um I was I saw this little article about Dolly Parton um because she wants to be in Playboy magazine again. <gasps> Can you imagine? Oh, I just came. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so she she's promoting this oh my god a, i guess a documentary that she has on a and e which i didn't know about <laughs> wait yeah. this quarantine just got so much yeah, better yeah, yeah i thought you'd like this okay and so when she's asked about uh her cover of playboy you know it's iconic it's beautiful she said i don't plan to retire i just turned 74 and i plan to be on the cover of playboy magazine again yes see i did playboy more playboy magazine years ago and i thought it'd be such a hoot if they if they'll go for it i don't know if they will yes if i could be on the cover again when i'm 75 uh incredible oh and my God. someone asked if she would recreate the original cover with the same outfit the jolene singer replied maybe she said i could probably use it she said jokingly. i think she did full like playboy bunny ears yeah. corset yeah she said i could probably use it boobs are still the same <laughs> She's so amazing. And I found out that it was announced last summer that she's coming out with a lifestyle brand. Like oh. she's going to have her own wigs. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it hasn't woman, been. Uh, they haven't officially come out, but she announced it like last May or something. The woman is a drag icon. Yeah. Like how many times has she probably seen someone impersonating her with a bad wig and, right. and been like, honey, yeah. no, like I have nice wigs. Yeah. I've heard a rumor. What's well, that? I've told you the rumor before that she has like a fuckload of tattoos. Yes. I, you told me that she is basically from the neck down covered in tattoos. I've heard that's why she always has long sleeves uh-huh. and that she has lots of like butterflies and lotuses and uh. things like that. And I think there's been a couple of interviews where like friends of hers have been like, yeah, she's got tats. OK. Um, but I've also heard that she has like long silver hair. What? Oh, you did tell me this before that she's like Gandalf underneath. Yeah, it. because oh. I remember because I grew up in Western North Carolina and there were like huge bluegrass country music festival called Merle Fest. Uh-huh. And she played it one year. And I remember like, these are the kind of rumors I get. You guys <laughs> is someone's like dad being her driver right. um, for the festival and being like, oh, yeah, she takes the wig off <gasps> and it's like long silver hair. Again, wow. I could just be spreading fake Lies. rumors about Dolly Parton but for a, a decade. But that's not even a harmful rumor at all no That's, intriguing I, I yeah i'd love to see that could you imagine if like uh, she turns 80 and she comes out with an album she has long silver hair and is covered in tattoos uh, and she's like uh surprise i'm th- an even bigger me. babe this is the real me oh. i would lo- i mean she is dominating social media with the Kelsey. dolly parton meme that just happened that you know linkedin yes. instagram so i feel like <sighs> There's some cosmic energy where the way the world is and the way the heat that she's building on social media that I'm I'm hoping fingers she crossed that the like the lifestyle brand like comes to fruition sooner than later. Hell yeah. I have a, I, I think uh, it's what the world needs right now. It, so much more Dolly. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um on a side note, are you scared of spiders? Yes. Okay. Because there's should... a really big one on that door over there. Where? And I've been monitoring it. Oh, yeah. That's a Do you... thick spider. That's, uh, it's meaty. <laughs> it's a fucking Beyond Burger. Wow. Do you want me to catch it and get it out of here? Or should I just keep eyes on it? 
I think we can keep it's it's pretty far away. It's a good yeah. you know twelve feet away <laughs> from us. So I think it's good. If it was anywhere, I mean, I shot a video the other day or other week and edited it, and no, I, had a, a I had a spider crawling on me in the video, and I didn't notice it while I shot it, while I edited uh, it, until I uploaded it. My mom texted me and goes, "What's with the spider?" Oh my! I know you had a spider crawling on you. Oh. It looked like you did a Halloween Instagram filter. Oh, it's so crazy okay, when I watched it back. I'm sorry I called it out. I was just like, "That's a no. It's that's okay. a honk." What's the, the a stat spider. that like we all eat a certain number of spiders in Do our lifetime? Do you believe that? After your Fig Newton gnats thing or whatever it was that we figured out oh, months ago. Well, that there's a wasp in every fig. Yeah. Um, I believe that we eat spiders. But are we eating spiders because they're in like grains and things that when Maybe. when it's all brought, you know, when it's like collected by a massive machine, right. it's mixed in? Or because people are trying to say... You were eating them because they were crawling in your mouth. And I'm like, I don't live in a crypt. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I say this as there's <laughs> as a tarantula <laughs> yeah. walking up my door. And as I just had one crawling yes. on me in my home. We're like, yeah, these spider facts <laughs> are crazy. Uh, no, I think it is possible. Oh, my God. I had a, well, speaking of creepy crawling things, mm -hmm. I had a dream a couple nights ago with like a big snake in it. Oh, no. I know. It's not your thing. But That's, so I, I looked up what the meaning of it is. Yeah. I Fucking dream explanations are so stupid. I love them because they're um they're either like the most extreme thing or yes. they're absolutely nothing. Yes. So it was like um there's a snake. It was like there's a toxic person or energy in your life that you need to get rid of. And I was like, wow. pandemic what? I mean like <laughs> Chip and I are currently doing great. Yeah. Um but so I was like, huh. And then it was like, or you're healing from something. I was like, <laughs> Okay. And then it was like, how did it interact? And was it indoor, outdoor, whatever? Right. And with me, it was like, it, it bit Beans' foot. It was like <gasps> a total nightmare. Wow. Right? And so it was like, did it interact with you? Blah, blah, blah. Is it kind of this? Did it interact with someone else? And uh -huh. I was like, technically. And then it was like, then they're, they're healing from something. So I was <gasps> like, okay. What has Beans been going what through? It, what is Beans <laughs> dealing with? <laughs> She's sleeping like a goddamn baby last night. What is going on in that tiny brain? Oh, this is actually funny because when we were driving back from the dog show the other week, I had a very sincere thought in my brain about, you know, after seeing all those dogs and yeah. like dogs are your best friends and we love oh, our dogs very love much. So much. Would I if like take this very seriously? Yes. Would I really or you, if you had the opportunity, want beans to be able to talk? Like think that through because right. a part of me, my instinct is like, oh, my God. Yeah, because when we're home alone, like she hears me talk at her all the time. Mm. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, no, I, w I think the joy of a dog is that yeah. they can't talk. It's a silent partner. <laughs> yeah, that absolutely. I think it would ruin Goose if she had a, a voice. <laughs> yes. Here's what I wish. I don't want beans to talk. Uh -huh. I want beans to understand what I'm saying. Ah, okay. I want to look at beans and go, I'm really sorry. I got a last minute meeting. Your walk is going to be yeah. in half an hour. Uh, yes. I want if you need to piss on the bath mat, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> but for right now, just chill. And her be like, all right, sick. I solely want my dog to be able to pardon me of my guilt. Yes. <laughs> We just want therapists that That's don't talk it. back. That's it. Oh, my God. God bless us. I love a goddamn dog so much. It makes me crazy. If you're selling anything online, you know that getting your orders out can be a real pain. How do you keep track of who gets what? Which shipping carrier should you use? Are you getting the best rates? I know that I am paralyzed with fear about even entering a post office because I don't know how to do anything. Spoiler alert. And if you need help in this situation, you need ShipStation.com. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Just a few clicks and you'll be managing your orders, printing out labels, getting your product out fast to keep your customers happy. ShipStation makes it all very easy. No matter what you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, on your own website, kudos to you for having a website. ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface, making them really easy to manage from any device even your phone and they work with all major carriers including USPS, FedEx, UPS, even Amazon fulfillment so you can compare and choose the best shipping solution for you and your customer. They even offer big discounts on shipping costs. Now any business can access the same postage discounts that are usually reserved for large 14 
fortune of 500 companies. Guys, you got access to it. You'll always know that you're getting the best deal. So it's no wonder that ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. You'll ship more in less time with the best rates available. And right now, this might get weird listeners. You guys can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the offer code TMGW. There's absolutely no risk. You can start for a free trial without even entering your credit card info. That's incredible. In 2020, you can get something for free without offering up your personal information. Amazing. Visit ShipStation.com. Click the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in TMGW. That's ShipStation.com. Offer code TMGW. ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. We saw Sonic the Hedgehog last week. Wait. Yeah. What? Not a good movie. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's a little bit of a bummer because it has all of the, you all know. All the elements are there. All the things are and there. And they redrew that motherfucker Oh, my God. Scratch. That's the whole time I was watching it. I was imagining what yeah. it would be like to, with the original animation. Mm-mm. And holy shit. Mm-mm. The one thing that did catch me off guard, and I cannot tell to this day if I appreciated it or if I hated it, is that there are two to maybe three just blatant Olive Garden commercials inside the movie. Wait, I've heard of this. There's one. But but they don't even like show Olive Garden. They like be like, and Olive Garden breadsticks are the most delicious. Literally that. No. Literally that. There's one (gasps) where the family um, gets a gift (laughs) certificate uh, from the government because they helped this situation happen. Okay. And it's a gift certificate no. to Olive Garden. No. And it's presented to them at their house by like, you know, the attorney general or someone. Is it a massive gift certificate? Like a check it's, from no, Publisher's Clearing House? No, it's not a giant. Regular size It's not, size it's not cartoonish. Out. It's a realistic gift card in an what? envelope. And oh the, my God. the government employee that's, uh, the sergeant that's giving it to them goes, I recommend uh, their bottomless pasta bowls, impasta bowls. They're actually bottomless. Are and you it's, fucking it's serious? literally like that. And then the one before is the breadsticks talking about how earnestly delicious they are. And Elliot and I just looked at each other. I was like, that... That like really just that was an actual Olive Garden Were commercial. Were you stoned too? Yeah, big okay, time. Yeah, see that makes it even better. <laughs> okay, two things. One, this is the only thing that's made me want to go see Sonic. Right, I know. I was like, and I'm just sitting there fascinated, going, "This movie is not, you know, emotional enough Mm-mm. or like funny enough for this to be yeah. considered a purposeful joke, or if they really yes. got." paid by Olive Garden to shoehorn this shit right. in there. It's not Wayne's World 2 Right. It's not... It's, <sighs> the comedy isn't up enough that I would, like, applaud a writer for writing this blatantly. Mm-hmm. And so I was just like, this seems bad. But this whole thing seems bad, so I have no place to be mad about yeah, any of it. Exactly. This. <laughs> I'm here. I'm giving my money. My second thing is, it's not literally bottomless. Oh. That would be a cylinder. Like, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, the pasta would fall out. And I have, as a former Olive Garden employee that worked when I we had that worked in the time period yeah. when we had give us the real breakdown endless pasta bowls we were called endless pasta bowls they weren't called impasta bowls back then so you know it Times wasn't as changed. clever uh the football team from Rutgers University because I Uh-oh. worked right around there would come in and Uh-oh. then they'd all challenge each other to see who could eat Stop the most it. spaghetti and it was the grossest thing ever but <laughs> you order one normal plate and then all the refills are just children's size refills that's how really? they save whatever it is. I think they, I don't know if they still do it that way, but yeah, you basically just go back, you put a, you, an actual bowl, like a kid's bowl and you put pasta in it. What's the most amount of spaghetti or any type? Cause it's, it's multiple types of pasta, right? Yeah, it's, it's not just spaghetti. Kinds, yeah. What's the most amount of pasta you saw one person eat while you worked at Olive Garden during and <sighs> pasta never I mean, it was bowls. the football team because i only worked there for like three months in total and did you f- get fired or did you quit i quit because i got a, a adult job in manhattan so <gasps> yeah i got Look to at walk. You working girl hey uh, ah. but also jesse eisenberg used to come into or that's not the right thing jesse eisenberg is that the guy breaking from the facebook <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's Jesse Pinkman. Uh, no, Jesse Eisenberg from 
uh, the social network. Yes. Uh, he and his family used to come in all the time because they live right there. But it was before he oh was famous. God. So his sister was the Pepsi girl from the Super Bowl Pepsi commercials. What? So everyone would be like, Pepsi girl's here. Pepsi girl's here. Did you guys carry Pepsi or Coke? I don't even remember at oh the time. Oh my God. This is very important. Yeah. Hold on. I'm looking up. Does she's Olive got a Gordon little have Pepsi or Coke. Oh man. I don't even remember. I remember but... the little girl. She has like curls and yeah. she's like, yeah, yeah. and it's just like her dancing that's and wearing exactly, like little Mary Janes. Yeah. That's exactly what Lisa looked like. Yeah. Okay. She was like a tiny there flat ironed Pepsi girl. <laughs> <laughs> Does Olive Garden carry Pepsi or Coke? Oh man, because it's been if so the long. fucking Pepsi girl, okay, yeah, they oh they serve Coke. Now wow. it might have changed from back in the day, but I mm. feel like I feel like chain restaurants are really loyal to yeah. their. Uh, soda provider yeah you were serving the pepsi girl a coca-cola i wasn't that serving her shit i never had her table that, they oh, were really? always at a different section which is for the best because everyone would like be clamoring all around the pepsi girl and i was like i don't watch television at this point <laughs> what's strange it well all of this um <laughs> but, yeah but to answer your question basically one of like the football players had like seven bowls of pasta and but I what he like, doesn't know it was one bowl and six right. kids yeah, portions exactly and they didn't tip so um yeah, fuck that yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, I'm still not over this Eisenberg Pepsi yeah. girl thing because he's such a weirdo. Yeah, and you know he's one of those people. You're like, you're just strange. Yeah, very talented, but strange. But I don't see him as like someone who grew up with a stage mom when clearly yeah. he had stage parents if his little sister was famous before him yeah there's a lot of question marks around the whole thing because i remember they came in i think twice while i worked there and it was always just him his sister and his mom and okay. it was it was just the three of them and they were coming back from like getting off the train from probably. auditions in the city yeah <gasps> probably who knows yeah. there's a whole mythology that could be created around them but oh, yeah i love it it was so silly so so silly but yeah that that took me back these olive garden commercials within the sonic movie so <laughs> <laughs> what a sentence well speaking of uh, strange families yeah so a couple days ago i again having a weird day mm -hmm. i know mercury mercury's out of retrograde but like damn it's, shit's crazy right now every, it's part of the course i my expectations are just wide open right yes. now <laughs> it was sunday i was having a nice day i farmer's market i drove my bike up there i was you know yeah living it up drive your bike because you have a mechanical bike <laughs> an electronic bike yeah, it's like, good for the environment and i'm obsessed with it there you go uh red power bikes they're the best um non-spawn uh <laughs> But so anyway, I was like, you know what I'm going to do? It's nice out. I'm going to like go to the bar at five up the street, mm -hmm. get like a beer, yeah. which I never drink, bring my script and my pen. Mm -hmm. And like, instead of sitting at home making changes, I'm going to go have a nice beer and like relax. That sounds right? lovely. Lovely. I get there and I notice I'm like, oh, OK, white dreadlocks. So there's two <laughs> women that have like massive hippie buns, okay. like like dreadlock nests yeah and then i realized their mother and daughter <gasps> they've got matching dreads wow yeah that's a choice it was a major choice oh, okay. i was like is this hereditary yeah. <laughs> um so mom and daughter matching dreadlocks it's them another woman and a baby stroller okay. at this bar so I felt very like Reese Witherspoon in Sweet Home Alabama, like you have a baby in a bar. Uh, <laughs> but I was like, no judgment. Like, yeah, yeah, that's totally normal. Until I watched them take four rounds of tequila shots. Whoa. Wait, so the mother and daughter were with the baby stroller? That w It was the daughter. <gasps> it was the grandma, uh -huh. the daughter and the baby. So you got three generations here. Three generations at this bar. Wow. Uh, four rounds of tequila shots. Wow. At this point, they're just like, a little loaded taking pics of the baby being yeah. like she's the cutest <laughs> I love her uh, no telling what that baby was named and yeah. I'm like alright I've seen enough beans shall we leave <laughs> yes I did bring my dog to the bar no judgment uh, she was undetectable but yeah. so then I leave and at this point grandma's smoking a cig because we are all in an outdoor area yeah. still talking to the daughter they're like lit up uh -huh. and then as I walk past the daughter is breastfeeding Wow. So I was like, that baby's shit faced. Wow. There's so much going on there. So much going on. Wow. I don't know how to feel about all I don't of that. either, but I needed to tell someone. <laughs> yeah, like, I I don't know what I should have or could have done in this situation other than kind of leave. And like, I get not over serving, but is there a point where 
a bartender goes, uh, maybe no more shots because you're breastfeeding. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, this was yeah, just a yeah. Curb Your Enthusiasm episode where Larry David like keeps running into a woman who's pregnant and she's oh, like yeah. running on a treadmill. She's getting coffee. And he's yeah. like, is it? You know, like yeah. you don't want to preach do like things? fucking yeah. raise your kid, be a mother however you want. Like, yeah. I'm sh- like I would be wow. insanely bad at it. But I was just like. I've never seen a woman wow. openly take tequila shots while breastfeeding. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's a very progressive and modern woman. <laughs> Is it progressive? <laughs> I don't know. I don't either. I felt, but I didn't want to be judgy. Right. No, I mean, because I don't know what it's like being anything near right. a mother at oh, all. Oh, yeah. I'd be mainlining tequila but if also, I had a child. But also, like, there's a slight jealousy of, like, her seemingly great relationship with her mom. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yes. I was like, you guys. Like, and they're like, I want to do tequila shots on a Sunday <laughs> with my mom and that'd be totally normal right. and her ability to like multitask like actually like care for her child but then also spend some quality time with I her know. mom i, I was mean- hoping that baby had a little more hair to see if they were gonna immediately start dreading it <laughs> right, right right or let it come out but i didn't want to seem like i was judgy wow which reminds me of something that happened earlier this week Uh oh okay Why? well you know okay have you ever felt like a snob because i was at the grocery store it uh-huh. wasn't the same checkout person as my lube and breakfast girl from okay. earlier it was a different it was a new checkout person You've expanded your horizon i was there on a different day yeah. i went more towards i, I usually do express i went yeah. to normal so i'm there and have you ever gone to the checkout and like had a piece of produce or something and the checkout person's like i don't know what this is yeah i have and i'm like i don't know how to tell you what that is or like you're just you're like fuck i have fancy produce yeah uh-huh so i get there and i had Travat Treviso or whatever it's See, it's I a don't mi- even know it's a mild radicchio okay okay <laughs> it's, it's an Italian lettuce it's red it's bitter it's bigger than radicchio okay it's Trevat so I was like oh it's Travaso like whatever uh-huh. and she goes Travago <laughs> like like the website like the website with yeah. the, my least favorite spokesman of all time I can't believe he still has a job Who, what you know the Travago commercials the Travago, Travago guy Travago yeah yeah that actor who's oh. their spokesman the first time I saw him I was like who is this guy and now he's been his, he's been on their commercials for 10 years anyway she goes Travago I go no they can save you a lot of money on <laughs> so I go no it's Travaso Travaso like am I saying it wrong and she right. was just like what and like basically her and the bagger girl start talking shit about it i'm like oh god oh god finally she gets it she puts it in and then she just looks at me and goes this lettuce is stupid (laughs) i I appreciate that blunt honesty (laughs) i love it i feel like we're gonna get more of that as the world falls apart yeah but everyone's gonna be like fuck it yeah Uh, i think this is dumb this lettuce (laughs) is fucking stupid I was like, yeah, for sure. Thank you. You have a great day, too. Uh, So I felt like a snob and then I felt like a dork. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Do you know Chuck Norris turned 80? Good for him. Yeah. I don't know. I love you bringing all the uh, all the septuagenarian news this week. Dolly. What a word. Chuck. (laughs) Septuagenarian might be 60s. I'm not sure. Uh, Yeah. No, that's uh, I I don't know how to feel about it either. That uh, he was just trending on Twitter because he turned 80. And I thought, well, I wouldn't have guessed. I wonder how his restaurant is doing in Reykjavik yeah. there's a Chuck Norris cafe in Reykjavik that you guys should check out if you're there yeah it leaves a lot to be desired it's like chicken sandwiches <laughs> it's like but one not good ones. yeah and like one photo of him in the corner I yeah. wanted more like interactive like punching bags and stuff yeah we saw it online yeah. and we were like "Ooh, let's go like, this, this has g- potential I want to see Walker Texas Rangers hats yes I like wanted a full planet Hollywood speaking yeah. of Willis um, a full <laughs> planet Hollywood just Chuck Norris yeah it was just like a it was like a smaller Chick-fil-a with like one headshot (laughs) like he came into this bar one time before it was his bar and they took a photo of him there and then they just rebranded it to be his (laughs) absolutely oh my god what a sweet guy um I so Chip was in town last week, yeah. which means we just do a bunch of date nights. Yeah. So much fun. Cute. It's like date spring break. Yeah. Um, but we went to one of my favorite restaurants, uh, which is called Crossroads, and it's like fancy vegan. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's oh, like, yeah. I've, I've post made it from there before. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's all cross town. I've, I've done it before. Wow. I haven't done it recently. Was your food warm? 
uh, you know I don't give a shit about what temperature it is that I put it in my body. And he's like, yes, I'll pose my that from 12 miles away. Yeah. Um, but so we're there. And the thing is, is that it was a Saturday night. So it was busy. And the tables are really close to each other. Mm. And like Chip and I are sit at a bar. Yeah. People or yeah. like same like uh, no shame in my game. Same side of a booth. Oh, you know okay. why? Because I don't want to have to lean over mm. um, and like talk. But this, especially because you're so close to other people, yeah. that you're like, yeah. it's loud in here. We're across from each other. I'm gonna have to project. Someone is. F- I'm closer to the person yeah. in the next table I'm, than I am to you right now. I'm elbowing a stranger, and now it feels like we're all just collectively eating together. Exactly. It's yeah. so weird. But so uh, there's this table beside us and you can tell it's like the third date or so yeah and it's going really well they've like finished entrees we see also i don't like the setup of these restaurants because then people just peek oh yeah at what you're eating to see what it looks like lots of peeping so much peeking (laughs) so anyway they order dessert they're so cute they're like holding hands across the table Uh i'm like oh that's so sweet sweet." so naturally i zone in to hear what they're saying and and the guy, while looking so romantic and holding her hand, goes, you sit down on the airplane toilet? <laughs> and she goes, yeah, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to squat. The plane could move. He yeah. goes, what? <laughs> he was like, you don't hover. She goes, no. I mean, I use the like paper things yeah. and like put that down. And he was just like, I can't believe this. <laughs> As he's holding her hands. As he's holding her hands. And I was just like, is this a coronavirus talk? Like, he's still holding her hands. Like, how do we get to that on their third date? It felt very Seinfeld. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Also, if you're going to be that person that feels a type of way about someone sitting in the bathroom during a flight. Yes. You better be wiping down your entire seat before you sit down. Because Uh do you know how much food spills, liquid spills on those tray tables and everything? Like, that bathroom seat is probably a lot cleaner than what's been that what you're eating your food off of oh bathrooms oh on planes jesus i was so scared to flush them when i was little (laughs) i mean the sound it makes is like if you drop something down there you're never getting it back never (laughs) it's being dropped over ohio wherever you're over oh yeah by the way you just bought a you just bought a toilet I just bought a new toilet. I just got a text from Elliot that it has been delivered to the house. Stop it. What did you get? What was your like, I don't criteria? Even, I don't even remember. Uh, be, I've had a toilet in front of my house that's been leaking slowly. It's not good when we have people over. It can't handle a lot of flushes back to back. Mm. So I, I've done, I've made some adult decisions <gasps> and I, God, I ordered it yesterday. It's, it's cra- already there. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? The world works in a weird way. I can't believe it. Holy uh, sh- Literally, yeah. holy shit. Literally, holy shit. And uh, yeah, I started the research. Then we went to Home Depot. We looked at some in person. Didn't realize that toilets come in so many sizes. So many sizes. So, so many, many colors. Sizes, so be many- careful. Uh, so many options. And then I got into like a K-hole after we had coffee with Hannah yesterday. I went home and I started looking up toilets. And That's I was so like, fun. it's fun until you <laughs> like me, when you're presented with too many options, you forget what you're even looking for and mm. why mm-hmm. and so then all of a sudden I decide that I want this type of aesthetic but I don't really I just have seeing them like with this sh- like cleaner lines and I'm like oh that's interesting Wait, so did you go modern commode I went just basic classic I just a basic simple <laughs> toilet we'll see Ellie and I are going to attempt to install it ourselves I so. think that's a bad idea I I'm do just going to say it right now but in a world where anything can happen <laughs> I'm going to see if it can happen I think Grace it seems I'm- Easy. Very nervous for you. Guys, stay tuned. Uh, worst case scenario, we have another toilet in the house. So Hold on. Okay. Is the, it'll be okay. Is the toilet that's broken gone or you're no. going to take that out We're gonna and take replace that out. the toilet? And we're going to put the other one in. I think it'll be fine. Do you, know have to tur- do you know how to like turn off the water? So He's watched a YouTube video. So oh, oh, well, I think now we'll I feel I think, totally cold. I think we'll be great. Um, so oh I'll God. keep you guys posted. Also, before we go, since yes. we're, you know, 50 minutes in, I want to let you guys know <gasps> that there have been no updates. Stop it. On the dick pic. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, uh, we sent the GIF. It went through after we yeah. got done recording, but it said sent as a text message. So curious. Oh, fuck. So this... Uh, I mean, that dick did look like it was taken on a pixel. Yeah. So (laughs) I don't know, but I have not heard back. So you guys, I know. I think I missed the window thread. Yeah. I'll let you know again if anything gets resurrected. Um, (laughs) Resurrected. If anything comes back up from the dead. (laughs) Nice and hard. Uh, Uh, Resurrection. A little disappointing. 
Um, and also, uh, as of now, yeah. we're still planned to do shows in Cincinnati yes. and Nashville. Yes, Wednesday the 15th, Cincinnati. There are still tickets. We're so excited. Yeah, if um, we hear anything otherwise, of course, you guys yeah. will know right away. But as of now, we have not heard about any cancellations no, or anything. We, so consider it still happening. We also have a show in Nashville yes. on Thursday the 16th. Those uh, tickets are almost gone. So yeah. if you're thinking about coming, go ahead and get them tickets. And yeah, we'll let you know we are going to come mm-hmm. healthy as an yeah. ox. And yeah, I'm going to like put it all out there. You have 17,000 medical gloves now. Should sh- we <laughs> should we podcast through <laughs> medical masks? Possibly, but I don't even know if that's insensitive to do now. I don't know either, Ugh. you guys. Look, we're all just doing our best. We're all just doing our best. Uh, ordering Trump toilet paper. Yeah. Putting in our own toilets. Like, <laughs> <laughs> guys, the apocalypse is now. Truly. Is all we're just, everything's gone to shit. <laughs> uh, Literally. This got weird. <laughs>